All right, so I just put up the insect light. This is a mercury vapor lamp. Um, they, I just bought it like this unit. So you just plug it in and it comes straight on. So let's see what we've got already. About been on for about 10 minutes now. Really cool little beetle of some sort there is caddisfly. We do have a creek on the property, so there's probably going to be a lot of aquatic stuff. A um, bunch of midges and smaller things like that. Here is one of the bigger ephemeropterans, the mayflies. I've seen much larger ones out here in the past, but they don't live for very long, if you know anything about ephemeropterans. Oh, here we go. We got a stink bug. Came in. Very cool. Just a bunch of stuff down there. Oh, here is a oh, tiger moth. I don't know what species of tiger moth that is. Crazy one. All right, we'll check back in. Later. All right, we just got our first sphingid. This is a tobacco hornworm um, moth, also called a Carolina sphinx. Very cool. Haven't had one of those come to light in a long time. They'll sit still. Not looking too bad. A bunch of small stuff, but it's only been about 10 minutes since we last checked in. All right, we'll calm down. So. So, very cool. It's gonna show its colors. There you go. Very cool. These are what you, the caterpillars of these you'll find on your tomato plants and whatnot in your gardens. So, they, this is what they turn into. Right in there in the doll. Alright, go check back in later. Alright, so checking in about another 10 minutes or so. And we've got a couple more sphingids. This one is called a hog sphinx or a uh, Virginia creeper sphinx. And we have two of those. Here's the second one next to that Carolina sphinx still. A bunch more real small stuff coming in as typical. This is a um, stonefly larva, Placoptera. And here's a, a um, noctuid moth that mimics bark and leaves and whatnot. All right, we'll check back in and another thing. All right, so we have a new visitor to the light, a uh, serum bisid beetle. So these beetles um, eat wood, dead wood, or at least their larvae do. They can bite really difficult or really hard so yeah be careful when you pick them up but the cool thing is they squeak so I don't know if you can see those mandibles or not but they squeak so you try to get it on camera I don't know if you can hear that or not but serumbicity is the family name for those all right, so the newest visitor is an imperial moth. It's one of the leps. Um, Saturnidae is the family. For these, they are humongous. Here's a flashlight for scale. So it's pretty close to the size of the flashlight. Very big. This is a male. It's mostly yellow. Females are mostly brown. But, um... Very cool, just came in. So it's only 10, 15 at night. All right, so we just had another visitor for the night. This is a Dobson fly. And here's a grapevine beetle as well. But the Dobson fly, this is female. They're quite big. Here's my index finger. And they, um, they bite. So you gotta be really careful because the smaller the pincers, the harder they can grip your skin 
this is a pretty good sign that you have an aquatic area nearby that is a healthy ecosystem because they rely on really fast flowing water and water that is high in oxygen um, and low in other types of chemicals. So no pollutants and you can have these guys. All right, so we got two and a third one just flew in, a um, imperial moth. Let's see if I can come around. Yeah, he settled down. Actually, it might not be a he. Yeah, it's a he, but one that has a lot of brown on it. Super cool. The other two have much, much more yellow on them. Here's one. That was that's the second one, and this is the first one from earlier. So you can see we still got some big stuff out. About 11:30 at night. Doing pretty good. All right, so we just had the fifth imperial moth come in. That's him right there. It's a male. So the first two that came in were female, and the last three were males, which makes sense because the females would be calling with pheromones for the males. Very cool. Five Imperials in one night so far. All right. Another check in at 1220 AM. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, there, and seven. Seven Imperial Moths. That's two females and five males. So the females are calling in all the males, which is pretty cool. Um, so I might try to bag some of these females, see if they have any eggs in them, and then uh, we can get some eggs.